On Monday, the 8th of January, 2024, the Virginia State Police announced in a press conference they had closed two cold cases after comparing DNA from the crimes which matched a suspect. Both of the cold cases which were solved occurred more than 30 years ago. Teresa Lynn Howell was one of the cases solved and she was found dead on July 1, 1989 after going missing from the Zodiac Club which no longer exists and used to be at 207 East Mercury Boulevard in Hampton, Virginia. 29-year-old Teresa Lynn Howell was sexually assaulted and died from strangulation. The other case was of a couple linked to be one of the four couples considered a part of the Colonial Parkway murders, which spanned from October 1986 to September 1989. The couple was 20-year-old David Nobling and 14-year-old Robin Edwards. Their bodies were discovered on September 23, 1987 by Nobling's father and a search party on the James River. They were both shot in the head and found floating in the river. Three days earlier, Nobling's Ford Ranger truck had been found abandoned near the refuge parking lot with Nobling's wallet inside and two pairs of underwear and shoes. The 14-year-old victim, Robin Edwards, had been sexually assaulted before she had been murdered. The man who was the suspect linked to the murders was Alan Wade Wilmer Sr. of Lancaster, Virginia. Investigators linked him to both cases using forensic evidence and declared him to be the individual responsible for the September 1987 sexual assault and double murder in Isle of Wight County, Virginia, and the July 1989 sexual assault and murder in Hampton, Virginia. Alan Wade. Wilmer Sr. died alone on the 15th of December, 2017, in his home in Lancaster County at the age of 63. His body was later discovered a month later. Alan Wade Wilmer Sr. was never convicted of a felony and was never in the system or in the combined DNA index database. DNA testing was done on Wilmer Sr.'s decomposing body once it was found, and they tested genetic material with the DNA evidence they had acquired from both cases. He was not the only suspect submitted to the Department of Forensic Science. At the press conference, Corin Geller of the Virginia State Police said, currently at this time there is no forensic evidence nor physical evidence linking Teresa Howell and the couple, David Nobling and Robin Edwards homicides to the other double murders known to be a part of the Colonial Parkway murders. Today investigators say new DNA evidence pointed to one suspect, Alan Wilmer Sr., who died back in 2017. This puts to rest one Colonial Parkway murder case and a homicide in Hampton. Dead on your side, Andy Fox has the new details, Andy. Yeah, Lena, one down with three more to go. Six more murders that need to be answered for. And make no mistake, this is big news for those who have followed the Colonial Parkway murders. This is the suspect, Alan Wilmer Sr., who died in 2017. Virginia State Police say he was at Ragged Island Wildlife Refuge in September 1987 and killed David Nobling and Robin Edwards. Both had been shot, their bodies found along the river shore. In July 1989, police say he killed Teresa Howe, who was last seen 2.30 a.m. in Hampton on July 1st. And state police say DNA matches connected the dots. As a result of the forensic findings, both the Isle of Wight County Commonwealth's Attorney and the City of Hampton Commonwealth's Attorney confirmed that if Alan William Sr. was alive today, he would be charged in all three of these homicides. Corinne Geller says at this time there are no forensic nor physical evidence connecting Wilmer to any of the other three Colonial Parkway murders where six people were killed. You might be wondering, how come it took so long to find Wilmer? over 30 years since Ragged Island murders. Alan Williams Sr. had no felonies on his criminal record, so his DNA had never been obtained until it was necessary for identification purposes following his death. The Virginia Department of Forensic Science issued a certificate of analysis confirming a genetic match to Alan Williams Sr. Interesting, Wilmer's description matched some of those thought would be responsible for the Colonial Parkway murders. A waterman, a loner, strong. And there was also a thought it may be someone impersonating law enforcement. Very important, Alan Wilmer Sr. may have been connected to these deaths, but the FBI wants you to contact the FBI hotline if you know anything about Wilmer 
that you think is important. Even though he's dead, contact the FBI tip line, 1-800-CALL-FBI.